Good morning, it's Friday. So as you may have noticed, some of the things behind me seem to be paying attention to me. No, I'm not talking about you. Well, I mean, yeah, you too, technically, but everybody already knows about you. No, come on, Extreme, I didn't mean it that way. <sighs> I suppose introductions are in order. Everybody, Extreme Lifeiticus, I believe you've already been acquainted. Happy now? Okay, good, moving on. Everybody, I'd like to introduce you to this guy, or this thing. I don't really know what I'm talking about anymore. Everybody meet the Tin Man. The Tin Man, you know, not being human, doesn't understand some of the things I talk about and often wonders about these human concepts, as he calls them. He doesn't often ask me these things, he seems to prefer keeping his curiosity to himself, but today you're gonna open up, aren't you, Tin Man? Today, the Tin Man wants to ask me about... Happiness. Oh, jeez, come on, Tin Man. Well, you're starting out strong, I'll give you that. What is happiness? It's, well, sort of, from a purely philosophical standpoint. No, you know what, I'm just gonna be honest. I don't know how to answer this question, so just give me a minute. All right, so after about 30 TED Talks, four Harvard articles, and one playthrough of Pharaoh Williams' Happy, I can honestly say I am no better equipped to answer this question than I was before. But, but you asked, so I will try. Happiness. It, it sort of depends on who you ask. Happy comes from the Old Norse word hap, which meant essentially good luck or fortune, which would suggest that in order to be happy, someone would have to be very, very lucky or just very fortunate and wealthy, which is a little funny when you think about the adage, money can't buy happiness. It seems to be in direct contradiction with itself. But let's try to give you a broader definition. Let's try rewording it slightly, like, uh, like contentment. Contentment can be used almost interchangeably with happiness. Contentment came from the Latin word contenir, which meant to hold in or contain. What's the deal? Contentment and happiness are supposed to be synonyms, and yet the happy guy is rich and the content guy is just holding it together. Okay, this is probably giving you a horrible idea of what happiness is. But etymology is sort of a shtick, so there's gotta be some synonym on here that can clear things up for you. Joy comes from the Latin word gaudium, meaning joy. Oh, thanks for that deep insight. Bliss comes from some old English word that I don't know how to pronounce, which meant bliss. Oh yeah, I guess I should have expected that by now. Depressed, no, ecstasy, no, jovial, too astrological. Wait a minute, why is depression even on here? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Elated, okay, here's a good one. Elated comes from the Latin word elatus, that sounds like a joke, which meant to raise up or carry. So I guess being elated is similar to being on cloud nine? So does any of this help you? No. Yeah, I don't really blame you. I think I'm more confused now than when I started. 